Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the um, swatches for the four palettes I got from Ulta. This is a collection that was specifically online. It's the Ulta X um, Harry Potter. Um, so in the collection there's four palettes. There's also like a bunch of other things, but I'm only focusing on the four palettes. Um, so they have the little Harry Potter logo on the sides and it's the actual font so i thought that was pretty cool um there's gryffindor slytherin hufflepuff and ravenclaw you get a nice little palette like this and the packaging is cardboard which i don't mind um i don't it, it doesn't bother me that it's cardboard and has the lion on it and then there's also the godric Gif gryffindor sword um if you're familiar with harry potter you know all about this and whatever and then obviously it has the crest um they're inspired by gryffindor house colors this palette features warm tones with pops of red and gold includes nine eyeshadows and matte and shimmer finishes and the eyeshadows are 0 0.05 ounces or 1.4 grams um so when you open the palette they look like this and it has determination bravery and courage and those are like three traits that Gryffindors have. Um, if you're familiar with the whole Harry Potter world, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go too in-depth with it. Um, I mean, you can like research and Google it and if you want to, but it comes with like a little film, which is nice. And the amazing thing about this palette is the names are actually on the actual palette. So here's the nine shades. I know I showed these in my haul video, but... Um, yeah, I just wanted to show them again. So, um, a lot of people were comparing them to the ColourPop eyeshadows. And the ColourPop eyeshadows, um, look like this. Like, the Ulta ones are, like, significantly bigger. These are, like, more of, like, I guess they're, like, a quarter size. And then the Ulta ones are a little bigger than a quarter but I mean it doesn't really matter um I just thought I'd show you comparison but I'm gonna go I'm gonna go like e by each row and the first color is called peach I'm just gonna swatch them with my hands I don't have primer on or anything and this is just like a I'll um down in the d description box I will put down the shade name and like the um like the undertones and like what colors they are and stuff because i'm not the best at doing that and then the second color is called autumn deep brown color color is called chocolate frog and it's a nice chocolate color now i just like swirled my finger in like three times and so there's the swatch of that and keep in mind my hands are kind of dry right now i didn't want to put lotion on or anything um, so this color is peach, it's called, this color is called autumn, and then this color is called chocolate frog. So that's what they look like. Now autumn is definitely more red toned and chocolate frog is definitely, um, like, um, cool toned. So I didn't mention these, these palettes were $16 each or they had a like it was called a vault and they had all four of them um the vault was unfortunately sold out and that was fifty dollars which is a really good deal because um buying 16 buying each palette individually it comes out to like 64 dollars and you'd be saving 14 dollars but like i said it was sold out and i really wanted all four of the palettes now we're gonna do the second row and that's this row right here so the first color is called pure and it seems like they're very pigmented this one is called passion it's called howler and this is like a copper color and there's a sh there's the colors of them so this is called pure this is called passion and then this is called the how this is called howler and if you are familiar with Harry Potter, you know, like, what Howler is and all that. There's going to be, like, a lot of names, like, references to the movies and stuff. So, keep that in mind. Now we're going to go 
to the third row. And I love that they added the little starburst in um, gold foiling. Just like on the front, there's gold foiling because the Gryffindor colors are red and gold. Or like a maroon and gold, so it goes with it. Um, a lot of people are hating on the packaging, but I love the packaging personally. I think it like brings like more to like the Harry Potter vibe. So the first color I'm going to swatch is called Mandrake and this is a matte. There's six mattes and three shimmers so a good amount of like contrast. The second color is called Chestnut. The third color is called Cocoa. Really pretty color. I cannot wait to like dive into this. These palettes because they're so pretty. This one's called Mandrake. This one is called Chestnut which is a nice chestnut brown. And then this one is called Cocoa. And that's a shimmer. So pretty. Um, yeah. So, in all, I really like this palette so far. I mean, yeah, swatches and using it on your eye is completely different. The only thing that kind of sucks is the first package I got from Ulta, the packaging was, like, the, the uh, box was, like, completely, like, crushed. And the, there was, like, hardly any, um, like... Uh, protection like there was hardly any bubble wrap or anything and if you can tell my packaging kind of got like um, dinged up now because I'm gonna be using this palette it doesn't bother me however if you were a collector and you only got these just because they were Harry Potter and you're like a Harry Potter collector um, that probably would have bothered you, but like I said, I'm going to be using it, so it's probably going to get beat up anyway, but we're going to go on to the second palette, and this is Slytherin, and this has the locket on this side, and then the serpent. I say snake, but I think it's a serpent, so that's what that looks like, and this has the silver foil because um, it's features cool tones with pops of green and silver because they're inspired by the Slytherin house and again same thing this one says cunning ambition and pride so I'm going to show you an overview of the palette and then this one has five shimmers and four mattes um, the first color is called pebble the second color is called fluffy and the third color is called Moon. These are actually pretty easy to work with. It's called Pebble. This one's called Fluffy. And this one's called Moon. And this is a perfect shade. Um, it's like a perfect pearly shimmer. Pearly silver shimmer. I, I really love it. Um, so that's the first row. Second, sh second row right here. Baron. This one is called Herb. It's actually more of like an olivey green. Um, and then this one is called Elm. I really, um, I really, really like these two colors. And I really can't wait till fall time to actually, like, delve into them. This row is this one right here. I love that, like, each palette doesn't have a black in it. Because a lot of palettes like to do that. But, um, only the Slytherin, which I completely understand because Slytherin's kind of, like, dark colors anyway. And it's easy to make, like, a green smoky eye with this. This one's called Ivy. This one's called Toad. And this one's called Black Lake. The black is actually pretty nice. It's not... It's opaque and... Yeah. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm definitely a Harry Potter nerd. I definitely know, like, almost everything there is to know about Harry Potter I still am learning so yeah um the next one I'm gonna do is the Hufflepuff one and this is more like warm and neutral tones with pops of yellow and gold so there's the I'm not really sure what it is it look I think it's a um a, a badger and then here's the um diet uh the uh, cup um so there's that packaging and this is um gold gold foiling here's what it says it's dedication loyalty and patience and then here's the um 
So the first color is called Sherbert, which is actually the password to Dumbledore's, well, one of the passwords to Dumbledore's, um, like, um, office. It's actually Sherbert Lemon, but they couldn't fit that, I think. It's called Lumos, which is the, um, spell to make light, like, to turn on the light. Oh my god, Lumos is freaking gorgeous. Um... So the first color is Sherbert, the second is Sunset, and the third is Lumos. Look at that color, oh my gosh, it's so shiny and so pretty and very, very pigmented. Now what I'm going to do, well, here's the second row. It's Galleon, which is the wizard money. Golden Snitch, Galleon. And Earth. And here's the third um, row, Burrow, which is the Weasley's home. It's what they call their home. So, so there's Honest, there's Rust, and there's Burrow. Super gorgeous and very pigmented. When I tell you that I was super excited for this um, collection, well, like I was super excited to get these products i was super excited like i didn't even know that ulta had a collection because like i said i don't really shop there or look on their social media or anything but my friend alicia had told me that there was and i hopped right on that day and i got the gryffindor and the slytherin palettes i wasn't too sure if i was gonna get hufflepuff and ravenclaw but i'm glad i did so <clears throat> now last palette is um the ravenclaw one and it's a nice blue and it has obviously a raven and then on this side has the diadem which is like a crown um so that's really cute i love that they added those touches and if you are curious this actually is licensed by warner brothers and the wizarding world so it's not like it's just like a knockoff um it's actually name brand or it's actually like licensed so this has wit, wisdom, and learning. And then the first row is this row right here. I am upset. I'm so happy that they have, like, I'm so happy that they have a, like, nat or a uh, light shade in each um, palette just so you can do, like, a wash of color if you want. The second color is called Fang, which is Hagrid's um, three headed dog. And then. Bobatons, which is another school. There's Natural, Fang, and Bobatons. And I also forgot to mention that this one is cool tones with pops of blue and silver. So, yeah. This is the second row. So the first color is Hedwig which is Harry's, um, owl. The second color is Pig Pigwidgeon, which is, um, Ron's owl. Like, at first, he starts off the series with, um, Scabbers, which is a rat, but turns out that, um, spoiler alert, he's Peter Pettigrew. Anyway, anyway this is Hedwig, Pigwidgeon, and Ghost. This is the third color, or third and final row of all four palettes. And then this one has the um, silver foiling. So two have gold foiling and two have silver foiling. But anyways, there's the um, last row. So Bark, Pixie, and Twilight. And it seems like this, the each row, you can just make a look in itself. So that's actually pretty helpful. Like, especially if you're just starting out with makeup and you get this palette just because, you know, you like... You like makeup and you like Harry Potter. Or, you know, you can just, if you're a little more experienced, you can, like, go ahead and mix around. Um, yeah, so those are all the swatches and all the names and stuff of the palettes. Um, and there's what they look like. And they're, like, a pretty nice size palette. Um, so, um, yeah. I'm really, really happy with the quality of these. And I'm really happy that like the eyeshadows are like blendable and pigmented and everything so 
I will leave the link down below to these palettes. Um, I'll leave a link to the vault, and then I'll link, leave a link to like each individual each individual one, and then I'll also um have the names and the finishes and stuff down below. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am sorry if it was like a long video. I don't know. I really like long videos, so like I like making long videos. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and don't have. Don't forget to have a good day.